make you strong. Hi, and welcome to Tech Tutorials with Mira G. I am a Google certified trainer and a tech coach. And today I'm going to be talking about how to install Screencastify and how to use it for a presentation. How we can install the Chrome extension Screencastify. Well, this extension, which basically extends the capabilities of our browser, is only available when you have your Chrome web browser. So you need to be in your Chrome web browser and then also make sure that you're logged in. Now, if you don't know how to get to the Chrome web browsing store, guess what? Super easy. You can just type in Chrome web store and it'll be the first result right here, chrome.google.com. So either way, this is how you find it. Within the store, you're going to be looking for the extension Screencastify. So just type in Screencastify and it will be the first one there. You'll click on it and here you can look at some of the information on it or you can just click Add to Chrome. Click Add to Chrome, then click Add Extension. All right, you'll see the extension has now been added. Uh, you'll see that it disappeared. Basically, you just want to make sure you've pinned it so that you can see it in your browser right here. Um, if you ever want to still have it, you can pin and unpin it right here. It's super easy. I like to have it pinned so it's super easy to get to. All right, that's not all. The next step is actually connecting Screencastify to your Google account. So you'll click on Screencastify and it'll bring you to this uh, setup screen. You click sign in with Google. You'll click next. You will allow. And boom, you are good to go. So that's how you install Screencastify. And next I'm gonna go over how you actually use this extension. Use the Screencastify extension. So once Screencastify has been installed, it is accessible right up here amongst all the extensions you have. And if you ever don't see it, just look at your extensions and see if it's pinned or not. I like to have it pinned so it's very easy accessible, all right? So when I click on the extension right here, it gives me up this dialog box that gives me all sorts of information. And here I can go show more information. Amongst it, I can decide, do I want to record my whole entire desktop, just this browser tab, or webcam only? So these are different options. Um, Right, and I can actually select inputs and outputs as well. The default is usually just fine, okay? Uh, other things I really wanna note is there's a countdown. It's nice to have a countdown. Unless you're using the drawing tools, I would turn this off, all right? And that's under the more options. You might decide you wanna use the drawing tools, then you turn it on. If you're not using it, I would turn it off. It's nice to have a countdown but you can decide if you want a longer or short, shorter countdown. So I'm gonna get, show you an example of how to record my browser tab with an embedded webcam. Now, when I do an embedded webcam, this allows my face to be on the screen at the same time, which is great for when I'm giving, say, a presentation, and that's the example I wanna give right here. So one thing to know that if I want to be showing my presentation, if I go into full screen, I will lose my webcam. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you, is I'm instead going to do presenter view. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And now I click back onto the screen, and hi, here I am. I can have this and I can move it around right? But this is a super easy way to record my whole entire presentation, um, but not have it in full screen because you'll lose your webcam if you're deciding to use your webcam. If you're not going to use your webcam, full screen is fine, but this is the other way you can do it. Then you can go through your presentation, talk about it, I love dogs, you know, um, and books. And then when you're done with your whole entire presentation, you're done with everything, how do you stop? You click back on the extension, and then you click 
the end button. Okay, that's not all. There is more things you can do. You can open an editor or very easily you can just trim maybe the beginning and the end if say you were talking or you're not talking or something like that, right? Um, if I'm deciding to trim it, again, I just drag the little scissors and then I click Save Trim. And it's going to ask me, do I really want to trim this? I want to trim this. And that's so good practice to be editing your videos after you finish them. And it's also good practice to wait to start talking until a couple seconds so that your um, speech doesn't get cut off. Now, the last thing that's really awesome is there is a shareable link and I can just click on that shareable link and then I can share it with anybody and then they can watch it. There's other options here as well. Here's also other options in terms of downloading the file or exporting as an MPEG-4 or exporting the audio only or animated GIF. So there are other options here and so that is how you use Screencastify. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Please make sure to like and subscribe to help support my channel. And if you have any requests for specific tutorials, please put it in the comments below.